Hi, I'm Helen Buesenberg. I work here at Territorial Seed Company. I work in customer service. If you've called us in the last four years, you may have spoken with me on the phone. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about garlic and how easy it is to plant it. And I'm gonna start by explaining the difference between hard neck and soft neck garlic. So what I've got here is hard neck garlic. The stem is very stiff. And in the spring, the stem will send out a scape, which is starting to be a flower, but it's a great thing to cut off and cook with. They're yummy. The soft neck garlic is the kind you see braided. It has a soft neck, and so it's braidable. These are better for storing. Some people think they're better for cooking. Some people like the hard necks better. They're both yummy garlic, and they will both ward off vampires. There is a third kind of garlic, which is elephant garlic, which is really a leek, or a kind of a leek, but it has big, giganto cloves and is much milder than true garlic. So the time to plant garlic is in the fall um, in most places in the country. In the Pacific Northwest, we recommend six to eight weeks before the ground freezes. So that's generally the first part of October, late October. In the south, it's later that you can plant it. If you're in Alaska or Maine, you're gonna wanna plant a little bit earlier than that. And the main thing to remember, if you've never planted garlic, is that it's a really long season crop. You plant it in October and you're not gonna be harvesting it until next June or July. And so you have to plan for the space in the garden that's going to be dedicated to your garlic. Okay, and about the soil. You want to have well-drained soil. You want to make sure that the pH is not too low. That means you don't want acidic soil. You want to, if, it's, if you're somewhere that rains a lot, like here in the Pacific Northwest, we use lime on our beds to help raise the pH. When preparing your bed for planting the garlic or the row you're going to plant it in, you want to be sure and add compost and organic soil amendments or whatever fertilizer you prefer. So to plant garlic, it's really simple. And a hard neck garlic, well, either one, you want to pull the bulb apart, so individual cloves. And in hard neck, there's, a, there's the single stem and the cloves form around it. In soft neck, there's another inner row of littler cloves inside. And you want to plant the biggest, but these are big, so that's a single clove. So you want to plant the biggest ones and save the smaller ones for cooking. Okay, you can do a few different methods for planting. Most people just uh, push this garlic into the soil to the depth of about two inches so that you can see it in there. And I'm going to do six inches apart. Oh, I wanted to show you. This is the basal plate or the bottom end of the clove. This is where the roots are going to come out from. And this is where the top is going to come out from. So the key is to plant it the right direction. It's going to have a really hard time if you plant it upside down because it's all cattywampus. So plant it with the flat side down. After you get your garlic planted and covered, then you want to water it. You want to keep it watered through the winter. Of course, when it's snow and it's cold, you don't have to worry about watering. But in the spring, when it starts actively growing, you'll want to keep it watered until the leaves start to turn yellow. 
and then it's a signal that it's time to stop giving it water. So the first thing that's going to happen for this garlic once you've planted it in the fall is it's going to start to grow roots. It may or may not send up green shoots before you get to winter. And so if you see green shoots, that's great. If you don't, don't worry about it. That may be just a varietal thing. When the weather gets cold, you may want to mulch your garlic to keep it through the winter and you want to use about four inches of, of mulch. I like to use something that's airy and dry and something like straw because that's going to protect it and it's not going to affect the pH in the soil. Whereas if you use something like pine needles, don't use that and don't use sawdust. Those could affect the pH and uh, something very sticky or that holds too much moisture that could cause the garlic to rot and we don't want to do that either. Then in the spring, you want to go ahead and pull the mulch aside and side dress, or if you don't want to pull the mulch aside, you can foliar spray, but give another shot of fertilizer to the garlic as it's actively growing in the springtime. By June, if you're not sure when to harvest your garlic, you might want to check out our garlic harvest video on our YouTube channel. Now remember, there's only one thing better than planting and growing garlic, and that's eating garlic. So enjoy.